Good morning and welcome back to Champion's Choice for Early Learning's Circle Time with Part 3 and the letter E. Let's all rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. I'm so glad you got up and came today. How are you, my friends? Well, it looks like Spider-Man got up and came to school today and Salty got up and came to school today. Let's all wave and say good day to them. Let's all wave to them. Well, I think that some of our friends are here, our usual friends, like, um, oh, I see. I see um, Paw Patrol and is that Strawberry out there? Oh, it is, it is, it is, yes. I haven't gotten any new friends' names yet, but oh, I have another new friend today, though. He's kind of shy. Uh, he's kind of helping out over here with Sid. Sid's kind of not going to come today. But his friend Edward is here, but he's really shy. So let's, let's see if Edward, hey Edward, would you come talk, say hi to the kids? I don't know if he's going to say hi to you guys because he's really super shy. There he is. shy oh some some kids are really shy they don't talk very much yeah they have to kind of get warmed up to you right and take a take a while for them to sit by themselves and look around and, and so they're not afraid um, yeah Edward he's kind of he's kind of shy can you kind of wave at the kids, though? Maybe a little wave? Oh, there. He's waving. Can you guys wave at Edward? Maybe he'll feel a little not quite so shy. Yeah. Oh, that was so nice. Well, Edward, would you like to sit over there and listen to the story? Because I'm going to tell him a story about Ellie the Elephant. Okay, you sit on over there and, and uh, you listen to the story. He's going to sit over there and listen to the story. Yes, I have the story about Ellie the elephant. And I have a little picture of an elephant here. Where's, and that might be Ellie the elephant. Well, Ellie the elephant was extremely exuberant. She didn't want to just exist. So with much energy and enthusiasm she learned to she tried to learn all she could about everything she loved to explore and go everywhere she listened to echoes bouncing back from her expressive voice remember when we talked about echoes yet the other day she was especially ecstatic when she found exquisite edible plants to share with elegant elk. Ellie was exuberant. She was an exuberant elephant and she enjoyed the effort she put into exploring her world. She most of all enjoyed going to school to learn and be an educated elephant. She found everything to be exciting. I wonder if Ellie the elephant learned to read and write when she was at school. I wonder if she learned her letters and her alphabet. I wonder if she can say the sound of the letter E. Eh, like in her name, Ellie Elephant. And in some other names like Edward. Yeah, our shy bear's name is Edward. And let's see, hmm, do we have any other, eh, Everett starts with E, and Everin 
starts with E, and Evelyn starts with E. My mom's name is Evelyn, and it starts with E. And Emmy, my daughter Emmy, her name starts with E, too. We all remember her. I wonder if, if Ellie is listening with her ears. And I wonder if she's looking up and seeing the eagle. She's got pretty big ears, so she can hear very small things. Okay, and that's Ellie the elephant. Our story about Ellie the elephant. Well, you know, Ellie's name is Ellie. She's an elephant, and her name is Ellie. And just like the letter E's name is E, it has a sound. Ellie the elephant makes a sound, too. Do you, can you make the sound like an elephant? I don't know if I can. It's like a trumpet or something like that. I don't even know. That sounds kind of silly. But the letter E makes a sound. It actually it makes two sounds. It makes a sound like eh, like an elephant, and it makes a sound like its own name, E. It's one of those letters that makes two sounds, E and eh. Every letter makes a sound. E says Eh. Can you say it with me? E says eh. E says eh. <laughs> and, and I got that song mixed up with another song, didn't I? <laughs> Let's all say eh. Very good. I'm glad that you could say that with me and laugh. Okay. Well, I think that's it for our letter E this week. And I hope that you guys were able to do some fun crafts with that. And uh, we will catch you next time. So let's all say goodbye. Oh, Edward wants to say goodbye. He wants to wave goodbye again. He wants to wave goodbye. Let's see if Edward, he's, he's not quite as shy because he's gotten to know you guys a little bit. Yeah, he's wanting to say goodbye. Bye, kids. Bye, Edward. Okay, bye-bye, guys.